Hi everyone. Here is an idea that you can do with your students during Truth and Reconciliation Week or for Orange Shirt Day. And it is to make a safety pin t-shirt. So what you'll need to make this is you will need one large two inch or size three safety pin and then you will need 11 one and a half inch size two pins you of course will need some orange and white size six zero beads and optional you might need a second pin and maybe some glue because you have two options you can put some Mod Podge or some clear drying glue over it at the end to make it like one solid piece so it doesn't move around and shift. Or I found you could also take a second two inch pin and put it along the bottom and that helps to hold its shape quite a bit as well. Here's just a template for you uh, so you know how many beads to put on each and in what color combination. So for example, uh, if you were to start with this pin, loading the beads on this pin here, you would start with three white, three orange, and then three white, and then you continue on to the next one and just count the beads and the colors off of the photo here. And this was using the size six beads. Okay, so I'll just quickly just show you one. It's This is very straightforward and I don't think it needs a demo, but um, you'll just refer to the pattern for each pin to see how many of each color you're putting on. You just have to remember that uh, this is actually the bottom and where the little circle is is the top so you kind of are putting the beads on you have to just remember to work backwards then so I just kind of place it like this so that I don't get mixed up in what I'm doing and I've already got half of the shirt done and so if this is the middle row at this point now you're just copying so I've done that row now I'm moving over and I'm going to copy this exact one here to go here. So we're doing one white and then the rest are all orange. So that one's pretty easy. You put the white one on first. And I guess it's going to go like that. And then the rest are going to be all orange. And there is nine per row. So I've got one. So that means I need eight more. Two, three four, five, six, seven, uh, okay, eight. So then it's like very close to the end. So yeah, then you just put it on and now we've got, normally I think you would just wait and put these all on at the end, but I just kind of wanted to give you a preview here of how it's going. So now we will just have, uh, we've done that one, that one, now the other equal. So we'll do the last three of the sleeve. We'll see what it looks like. You can get a second two inch pin and put it on the, you know, put it through the holes here. You could even, when you put it on, you 
put it on like that so that this pin is tucked under and it doesn't look too bad okay so I'm gonna put some uh, mod podge on but I think you could just use regular glue um, any kind of glue I poured it all over this but I know mod podge dries clear so so that it'll hold its shape a little bit more so this is how it ended up after the Mod Podge dried. You can see that it's very solid now and won't jiggle or move around at all. So this is good because it'll also help any of these pins from opening at the bottom and losing any of the beads. So that's it. Take care everyone.